Hello, welcome to a new tutorial in the series of numerical computing with Python. In this video, I will show you how to program the method of regular falsy to solve a nonlinear equation. The regular falsy or false position method is an iterative method of solution. It is based on trials of false roots on x axis until a root of a given nonlinear equation is reached. It starts with two initial guess values. The values should satisfy an essential condition. The expected position of the root should be within the interval between the two initial points. Consequently, the values of y corresponding to the given x values should have different signs. Of course, the guess of the two initial points depends on the knowledge about the problem. Otherwise, several trials should be done until the two points satisfy the condition. Let's begin first by the graphical explanation of the method. As shown here, we start with two initial guess points, a at x1, y1, and b at x2, y2, where y1 and y2 are calculated by the given nonlinear function. Then we connect the two points with a straight line. In order to have a straight line that always crosses x-axis, one point should be above x-axis and the other under x-axis. This condition is also necessary to keep the expected root between the two points. The x-coordinate of the new false root xh is located at the intersection of the straight line and x-axis. For next calculation, we look at the signs of y1 and yh. If their signs are opposite, like in this case in the figure y1 is positive while yh is negative, then xh becomes the new x2. Consequently, yh will be y2, and let's call the new false point c. If the signs of y1 and yh were the same, which means both are on the same side of x-axis, then xh would be the new x1. Now we can connect AC to get a new XH. The same procedure will be repeated until YH gets closer to zero while X gets closer or approaches the root. Now, the question is, how can we find the new false position numerically? Since we know that XH is located on the straight line connecting X1, Y1, and x2, y2, so the slope at each part of this line should be constant. This means the slope at AB is equal to the slope of the part BF, and we can write that in terms of xy as shown here. It is very important here to pay attention to that in this equation, the value of y corresponding to xh is zero, not yh, because this is the equation of the slope of the straight line, not the given nonlinear equation. In other words, on the straight line, y of xh is always 0, while on the curve of the nonlinear function, y of xh is yh. So, xh can be calculated by this equation, or the y's in this equation can be replaced by the values of the function at the corresponding x values. Now let's take a look at the main steps of this method. Step 1. Input two values of x1 and x2 that define the interval where the root is expected. Step 2. Check the sign difference between f of x1 and f of x2. If the signs are not opposite, stop. Calculate the value of xh. If f of xh approaches 0, print xh, the root, and stop. If f of x1 and f of xh have opposite signs, let x2 equal xh. Else, let x1 equal xh. If the number of false positions reaches a maximum, stop. That means we cannot get convergence or we cannot get a solution. Repeat the steps from 4. Now, let's find the roots of the following equation. 
the first step in the solution is to write the given equation in the form of a function y of x or f of x and then use it in the code now let's start coding the method by defining the regular false function so let's say r falsy this is the name of the function the first parameter or argument will be the function of the equation to be solved the first initial point the second initial point the tolerance or criteria of convergence let's say this time years uh, e to the minus six that means up to six uh, decimal digits and let's define the maximum false positions and let's say 100 100 now uh, at the beginning we should define initial values or let's say beginning values of xh let's say zero and false positions this is a counter of false positions as zero here we define the uh, main condition of uh, applying the loops of regular falsy which is if the function of x1 or f of x1 multiplied by the value of the function at x2 is less than zero that means if it is negative then we can start the loop of uh, iterations or of fault positions we test this condition by multiplying the uh, values of f of x1 and f of x2 because if the uh, one of the values is negative and the other is positive so the uh, as we need so the result will be negative but if both of them are positive or both of them are negative so the condition will not be satisfied now for let's say f position in range of maximum f position here we should notice something important max f position is equal to 100 but the for loop of python generally goes by default uh, as in this case from 0 to 99 it will not go up to 100 so since this f pos or f position is a counter which should start from one so we should do something important here we should add one here to make the loop start from one and then we should add one here in order to guarantee that the last trial is made at the value of 100 now we can apply the equation Now we can test the convergence by using f of xh. So in this case, uh, if the condition is satisfied, the loop uh, of iterations will be uh, broken and we will go directly to the end of the uh, function r falsy. else if the values of the function at x1 and xh are less than zero now that means if um, the point at x1 and the point at xh are at different sides of x-axis then we simply can say that let x2 equal xh but uh, else if 
x1 or the point correspondent to x1 and the point correspondent to xh are at the same side, then let x1 equal xh. Here we should write a message to the user if the condition of f of x1 multiplied by f of x2 uh, less than 0 is not satisfied. And then we return the value of xh. Also, we can return the value of the number of iterations in order to know uh, how many iterations are required to get that solution. Correct the position of... Okay, so in this way, these are the correct indentations of the else and... Okay, now, because they are related to the if condition, so should be they should have the same uh, indentation, so else should have the same indentation with if, and the return actually should be in the body of the uh, function r falsy. Now, let's define the function. Let's say y, lambda, the variable x. So this is the function of the given equation. Now let's enter values of x1 and x2. Now, let's call the function. Let's say the root and the number of iterations equals r falsy. The function y, the value of x1, the value of x2. Since the tolerance and the maximum number of false positions are def defined as default arguments, so we don't have to include them in the call of the function unless uh, we want to get or want to put different values for them. Now let's print the results. Okay, now let's try to run the code and see if it works well. But before that, let's import the function of science because uh, sign is not defined by default in Python, so we have to import uh, the this trigonometric function from the library of math. Okay, let's run the code and let's give value zero and one. Now, this is one of the roots of the equation. You may be asked, how can I know that this is uh, a root? So it's very simple. Just copy the equation or the function, then apply substitute the value here. And you will notice that the result is very small number and it is in the order of magnitude or it's an order of size related to the size of the tolerance we entered so actually that means this is the solution because it approaches to zero now let's try to find uh, another route so let's run the code and try, for example, 1 to 5. And we obtain the second root uh, at 17 false positions. Now let's try to see if, if we change the order of enter. For example, instead of 1 and 5, let's say 5 and 1. 
So we notice that change in the uh, order of the x1 and x2 didn't affect the number of the false positions nor the value or the result itself. So actually it went the same uh, procedure as before. So this is the regular falsy method and this is a simple uh, function in order to implement the algorithm of this method. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.